Hey y'all, right now I'm going to be talking to y'all about the new features that's in this current Windows 11 update. I haven't made a video for like a month yet, but since the, my last video was just about a BDD6 video about how, how I beat Impobable. So now we're currently in build, I'm just searching WinBur. In fact, WinBur, that shows you the version of when they'll sell them. So it's 2200.160. Actually, I would just call it 22,160.160. And, and that's, a t that's a current build of Windows 11. And well, let me say something about uh, right now. How about let me share, share I'm going to share y'all my story that uh, the first, my first day of school was from August 11th. And I know I, the school was so crowded and as I see I, most students are wearing masks. I'm currently a senior in high school, but next year I'm going to graduate. And, and I've been playing BF5 several times. And right over here, and for the next the video after this, I'm just going to, I'm just going to post videos, so videos of clips of me, <laughs> of me doing like melee attacks and BF melee kills in BF five. I know BF twenty forty two is gonna come come out like in October. I I know so many these things have been been delayed like, this year. It's more likely due to COVID. I know so many of them were or or scheduled like last year in twenty twenty, but they rescheduled the twenty twenty two. It's more likely because of COVID. Like Minecraft festival was like uh, that's kind of like Minecraft festival. And like ultra music festival, I know COVID isn't going. I know like there's already a Delta, there's COVID and there's also the Delta variant. And right now, right now, right now at my school, I know a few of my students are already quarantined because they tested positive COVID and and they're fully vaccinated, but they tested positive COVID. Actually, they they're not at school. They after they tested positive, they just stay at home. So was that getting for any any further let's get into the video so windows 11 already dropped a new, new build and i have and here's more updates of windows 11 right now so right over here for the widgets microsoft did update the widgets right over here so if you go here i have like i i have this family safety weather watch list photos tips sports there's more and other stuff right over here this is there's still a widget right over here and you, if you scroll down that's and there's also a news in the widgets i don't know widgets used to be right over here from windows 10 and they just move it here and that's part of, that's still default windows 11. you still you can you can hide this from taskbar there's also a teams right over here that's what, that's what it looks like, but I don't want to, I don't want you to see other people's phone numbers there. That's and this is a type of new feature from in Windows 11. The team that said chat on it. Actually, that was announced from June 24th when when Microsoft announced Windows 11. And so if you go to File Explorer, I heard something's changed right here. Is this the, the, the design of the, the icons here are already are, are already changed. Like this is a little, there's a little curve right here. This bot, this square has a little curve right here, and if you full screen, it's still, it's still, it's like Windows 10 over here. Microsoft could have changed it. If you if I hover my cursor over here, you can see this is right now. Right now, it's they're curved and the X is right over here and it's also in this box and it doesn't touch and it doesn't touch the edges maybe maybe they can make this those here move down and left a bit in order for them to not touch the edges that's my idea to make it resemble like this here there's also a oh, search button right here and so when you're here, then you can search something, that, and then it makes you go right here. 
let me let me show you the re the redesign applications. I already have BFI right here. I already played that so many so many times with a friend. This is a ROG Zeph Zephyrus M15, and I know I know like ROG computers. No, like I mean ROG computers like laptops or desktops. Right now they can get a free upgrade to Windows 11. See, look, the Xbox that logo hasn't changed. They, they they haven't changed over here. Let me just check for Xbox. Right now they made they made this thing. This thing is black. Because that resembles like Windows 11. I don't like when it's restart. Any type of screen that's black when it says start shutting down, restarting, starting it out. All this. That usually the default color of it is black and it's no longer blue. But for Windows 8.8 or 8.1, it's kind of like between blue and purple, like somewhere like an indigo color. Now let's just close this here. Oh, I just need to claim my game pass. Oh, Game Pass. Oh, I have to get. It. Oh, I need to. Get it. Oh, it costs money for a Game Pass. I'm not going to get it. This is, this is what X, Xbox right now looks like over here. You can see there's curved, curved edges here, and those are more. More of this are curved, and this is curved too. This is my, and there's, and then, there's a panel right here. At, and it, it, it can, you can expand this or you can collapse it. There's my collection. There's change the list type. Now let's just go. Let's just go back. There's a back arrow here. Those are the type of games for Game Pass. Oh, what? Oh, for the Horizon Five, it's gonna come out in <clears throat> in November eight. I know that that game is kind of fun, but I'm I'm just kind of thinking about it. I know it's sixty dollars. So many games are like. Sixty dollars right now, and here's another redesign app. Let me just go to calendar. Calendar kind of is redesigned. See, like they kind of look, kind of look, looks like when, this kind of looks like Windows 10, but it still has this this sharp edge right here from Windows 10. They, they already curved this here, and you can see you can see there's a little a little curve on the edges, and but they still look squared. Here is changed. Here, this is not changed, but actually, still is like Windows 10. If you full screen this, it's you know it's still like Windows 10, right? With the minimize, maximize, and the close. And you can expand this by clicking over here, and there's new events. You can add new event by clicking here. Here's more features like this. That's switch to mail. Here's people and here's settings. This is what settings is. It's right over here. And I, let's go to alarm. This right now this has been redesigned over here, and you can just start a timer right over here based on how many minutes you want, or you can add one, or you can add a new timer here. Here's a focus session right here. Yeah. You can start right here. It said, ready, set, focus. Achieve your goals and get more done with focus sessions. Tell us how much time you have and we'll set up the rest. Yeah. And you also have your daily progress, Spotify, and a to-do list. Where your tasks are going to be. And you all have an, and there's an alarm here. You can just turn it off. It's off. Actually, its default is set at 7 a.m. and it says good morning. Here's stopwatch right here. If I click right here, then you can click this for a lap. You can click this for you can click this for reset. Now here's a world clock. Right now is 4:56 p.m. Actually, that's just showing Chicago's time. But actually, I'm in I'm I'm in Houston Tech near I'm near Houston, Texas. Somewhere right over here, and it's still in the central time. Here's, you know, this is what we're saying right here. Actually, this font is already redesigned.
and, and I don't know so many fonts. The fonts here, they don't look like Windows 10 anymore. It has its own new design, and it still kept some the same. And the lock screen does have the redesigned fonts as well. And if you go to, let me just go to all apps. Let me scroll down to something like, um, if you go to new, how about news? Now, this currently is could be redes could be redesigned. Like this, it still has this right over here, and it still looks, still looks the same as Windows 10. And it needs to be re redesigned. But the only part that's redesigned is this over here. They make it like they make the, the colored line go go like this, not completely covered over here. There's also a paint. For paint, still looks the same as, still looks the same, same as like as from Windows Seven later. But it, Microsoft did tease a new look of of paint over here. But actually, it's gonna come out. Could be like in a new build. And the, it, you're still gonna do the same thing that you can do in Windows Seven, right over here. There's also, and I'm thinking about it is hmm the calculator's already the calculator is already redesigned. See, look, they look this now it has a new font and and it's already redesigned. They already redesigned the buttons here. Here is there's scientific and there's also a date cal calculation right here. There's also a graphing calculator. There's programmer. There's date collect date calculation. You can just calculate the difference between days or and add or add or subtract days. There's also a convert there's also a convert right over here. I know they also added pressure and angle. For pressure, you know, there's they have atmospheres, bars, and there's also angle, degree to radians. There's other, there's other gradient. I never, I never heard about that. Like last year, I learned, I learned about those from pre, from geometry and pre calculus. You know, no. Now let's get on to the future. What's coming to the future of Windows 11? Actually, I'm just they're they're gonna be my i my ideas, but it's but it's unconfirmed for my for Windows 11 and Microsoft. So I'm just gonna to talk to you all about this. So as I was saying, Microsoft should should have to re redesign those parts over here and I already forgot to mention Microsoft Edge. They have this you can make your tabs vertical or put them horizontal right over here as as before. And now let's go on to like the new features. Like I know Microsoft is going to add Android apps to the to the mic to the store, the Microsoft store. And you know, you know, I know so many people think that's useless because they, they have their Android phone. They, it already has the type of default apps there. They have apps there, like in the Play Store. And so, oh, you know, Windows 10 is no Windows 11 is going to come out in the in October, which is going to be this fall. And you know, Windows. In, from Windows 10 to Windows 11 is like six years. Same thing as Windows 95 to Windows XP is also six years as, as well. I know Windows 10 users they can download Windows 11 for free from the from Windows updates through, through settings. It's right here, and you go to Windows update here. But if you want Windows 11 early, but Windows 11 is not. Completely out yet, but it's still in preview build. 
just join the Windows Insider program. If you're in the Windows Insider program, I know, I, I know that the Devin Beta channels they can get when they're right out of the same pace to get Insider build. But for a release preview channel, it's just going to be like the next version of Windows 10 v 21 H2. Windows 10, 11 is 21 H2. Windows 10 is going to be still 21 H2 because Windows 10 Windows 11 they both get their both get their separate updates. And the Windows 11 is still going to be 22,000. Like that's for the first update. The second update they might could be like 22,000, 000, 22, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, not always keep you keep updating Windows 10. That's right. That's why Windows. That's why Microsoft wants to re wants to release the next generation of Windows. Like Windows 11 is already the next generation. Windows 10 is still things there are still still the same and no new new designs. Like and Windows 11 has its own designs. Like I know. I know for Windows 10 is said to, it was said to be the last version of Windows and Microsoft. Might rebrand Windows 10 to Windows after the support of Windows 8.1 is is over. Like you know, the, the support of Windows 8.1 is going and the way 8 and 8.1 will be over like in 2023 and 2023 and and Windows 10 there's already a already the support and which is going to be in 2025 which is like kind of like. 10 years after its release. Windows 7 is or, or the support already ended like in 2020, which is kind of like 10, 10 or 11 years. And, and so, and so this, so right now, when there's going to be like updates, like there, there could be yearly updates for Windows 11, like you know, one year, one year they get. Windows 11 gets an update this year. Windows 11 is the first update. The next year could be the the second update. It could be like at the beginning of next year, or it could be like it's or in the summer. And then in 2024, we might believe that there could be Windows 12. When Microsoft cannot always keep updating a a Windows version because they need the next generation of Windows. Because if they keep doing that, then it's going to make the Windows the consumer of when Using Windows feel bored. And so right now I'm already used to the design of Windows 11, and I'm already used to the OS, but I'm not used to Windows to use Windows 10. Actually, I don't like the live tiles, and I do like the transparency. So my my favorite version of Windows right now is 11. But Windows 12, Windows 12 comes out then. That was the then I, then I would like that because Windows, because Windows 12 is not out yet, but pretty sure it would come out like in, the, in a few years later. Because like you know Windows, like you know like between Windows uh, X, between like Windows, um, Windows 3.1 and Windows 95 was was three years between Windows XP and Windows. Uh, no, between Windows Vista and Windows 7 was three years. 7, 8.1, three years also. Uh, no, 7, 8 is three years. 8 to 10 is three years. 10 to 11 is six years. And Windows release. So it's Windows release new version. New, up, new version updates like three or six years. Usually Windows 10 and 12 would be three years, still confirmed to be three, maybe would be three years. Like Windows 12, for like for Windows 12, they might, like they might use a use a dot instead. Like when you could, when you're on an application, they would just use a dot instead of a small line. 
and they may still simplify it by destroying the taskbar like like a Mac OS because like Windows 11 right now is kind of looking more like a Mac OS and a Chrome OS. See like this right here looks more like Chrome OS and this also looks like Chrome OS because in Chrome OS you can just shut down through this panel here but for Windows you just go to it's in the start menu right over here. That's where you find the features over find them over here. The features over here. <coughs> Like the this type of logo, Windows 11 looks more like like your Microsoft logo, but everything there and everything every four squares are blue, and that's still my Microsoft still might use that for Windows 12. But Windows 12, we're not kind of we're not quite sure about that, and you know we might we might think we might think that there's still going to be more in Windows 12. They still they're still going to add another thing that's default. Like after this chat here, uh, and there's some. And now let's move on to what's currently needs to be. What's the issue I've heard about Windows 11? So if you right click here, it just only shows taskbar settings, but no other, but but no other other options. I know there's there could be an option of task manager, but actually you just only have to right click on this start menu here. Just know the start button here. That's where you find all the options. Like there's task manager. If you want to click on task manager, click on this here. No, bring you up task manager. So that's so that's all it for to for this video. If you learn anything, let me know. But if I forgot something, you can you can read from the, from the blog post for Windows Insider, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and turn on post notifications. But if you are subscribed to me, tell your siblings or your friend and your friends to subscribe to me, and I'll see you guys next time.